All right. We're back here in front of the Magister's Keep inside Fort Joy. It's the bodies of the guards. Well, little said of them, the better. As you can see, we've changed up our gear a bit. I am now wielding the Agitator. <laughs> this awesome crossbow, which is totally deadly and powerful, because, well, we found Sabeel here, a new crossbow for herself. It's not quite as powerful, but it is an elven crossbow. It's just a little bit less powerful. It doesn't have the water enchantment of the Agitator, but still pretty strong. And it's of elven design, which I think Sibyl appreciates. So she was kind enough to give the Agitator to me. And here we are, all right. So, we are going to enter the keep. Ought to keep well out of sight of the Magisters. We have something to do inside. And that is to look for Lord Withermore's soul. It should be hidden in some sort of phylactery. Somewhere within. Alright. Now, I talked to a little rat. Which said that he heard something like a soul screaming right over here. I've spotted something. Ah. Well, that actually wasn't so hidden. Bracus Rex's hidden phylactery room. Surely this must be it. All right. Those are poison traps. All right. Wait here a bit. Hmm. I think we can use these right here. It's a bit too far. All right. Go over here. All right. Well, poison really isn't a problem for me, but well, I'm not the only one here after all. Looks like this place has been sealed up for a century or two. There could be a good reason why no one dared to enter in the meantime. Well, I can think of several reasons, one of which probably traps, or guardians of some sort. All right, what's this? Here lies Withermore the Noxious. Hmm, Withermore the Noxious, eh? Hmm. Move back. That's why we have crossbows. All right. And this one. Here lies Withermore, the sage. The sage. Hmm. All right. Right, what's that? Ooh. So we have some enemies. All right. Let's have a totem. Right here. Can we put it somewhere high? 
Let's put it here. And let's call up Nathan. Right here. It doesn't escape me that there seems to be someone up here. There you are. All right. You've got a lot of AP. All right. Attack. Attack. Good. Very good. All right. This one seems heavily armored. Sabiel. Move up. Somewhere. Where can we go? Right. Move up there. Right. Get yourself some additional AP. Sacrifice. Can you hit that one? No, apparently not. He's going to be a problem. Right. Oh, yeah. All right. He comes. Who did he attack? Oh, he attacked Nathan, which is hilarious. All right. And strike with your shield. And hit this one. Sorry, Nathan. All right. Keep hitting that one. And I think you can finish him. Yes. Awesome, and now hit this one. Now for me, let's hit you. And one more time. I love that crossbow. And they've all expended their effort on Nathan. They can't even kill him yet. Finish you off. All right. Well, that was easy as pie. Prince, please cl clean up your mess. I guess we are a bit too high level for these undead chattel to be any match for. Ooh, Aero Surge. Alright, so who wants that ring? Do we still have. What's that? Chameleon cloak. We don't have any more. He had a spare spell book of lightning surge. Not anymore, sadly. Alright. Who wants that ring? We could, oh, we could give it to Beast here. So now he doesn't have to rely on this. Helmet. And uh, hmm, equip that. Switch helmets. I think that will protect you a bit more. You wear that. You don't want your face covered after all, eh, Prince? You have so much defense with your shield. You can share it a bit. Just need you to get better gloves and boots, probably, and pants, actually. Yeah, better pants, no. All right. All right. Three. 
Here lies Withermore the Supplicant. Withermore the Supplicant. I seem to recall that uh, Withermore did mention that Bacchus Rex made him a supplicant. You sense a great whirl of energy within the jar. Ah. From its depths, a faint voice howls. This must be the container that holds Lord Withermore's soul. Ah, oh, we found it. Such a powerful relic is worth protecting. It would be cruel to keep a man's soul when we could easily free it. Does our word mean nothing? Destroy the jar! Yes, indeed. I agree. His soul has been ensnared so long, he deserves freedom. And we did promise that we'd free him. The jar smashes to smithereens on the floor. Sorry, Prince. But that really doesn't matter much. Right, what's this? Here lies Withermore the Yellow Bellied. Yellow Bellied. Cowards. An ambush, I guess. And seeing the high places here. Hmm. All right. Let's position ourselves. I'll come here. All right. Sabiel, join me. Beast. And Prince. The enemy is probably going to appear here somewhere. Beast. Here they come. All right. Oh, bastard. All right. Fine. Hmm. All right. Like, oh. can kill him. Alright. Oh! Damn. Prince. Alright, beast. Take out this person. Good, very good. Not more. Can't. Alright. And uh, heal him. Uh-oh. Hail strike. Should it be a problem for us since well since we're not going to be moving because we have ranged attacks, right? Prince Oh damn. Alright, just burn him up. All right, awesome. Now for you, I don't think I even have to call upon Nathan to f take care of you. Just use my lovely, awesome agitator. is in danger a bit. Awesome. Go help the prince, beast. Right. Just 
Just wait there. Get over there, get over there. Right. Alright, good, very good. Attack him, attack him! East. Alright, anyway. Alright. Let's loot these fools. Hammered scale pants. Nice. Can't open that. Too heavy. Prince, I need your help. Open that up. Nope. Nope. Come on. Alright, head down there. Sabeel. Anything up here? Alright. Now, Mark, this is Mark Blown Gamer, out of character for a moment. This is actually the spot where we find another of the artifacts of the tyrant. And we can only find it on this statue if we have a certain amount of wit. That's something you can actually not... You can conceivably not know at all unless you consult a wiki or something but well anyway so as to save ourselves a bit of time anyway we are going to assume that Sibyl here is just that witty that she was able to find it but first we have to do something what we have is did we create well for starters send this to the red prince we, I think we have, we had an air, a wit potion. Air resistance. Pretty sure we created a wit potion. Yes. Send to Sibyl. This is a bit breaking roleplay, but this is really just technical. Anyway, I already know about this. Sentence appeal. Now, conceivably, all we need to do is... We need three points of wit. This will give us one wit. This should give us two. So... You notice a deep fissure beneath a statue's right hand. Ah! Sibyl's wit has revealed something hidden. 
A chunk of stone falls from the statue. There's something hidden inside. All right. Well, that's it. So you don't need to invest too much points into nice. wit just to get this. All you need is a piece of Judene and a puff ball from the cavern with the fire slugs. You can just get one puff ball there and a bottle, an empty bottle, to create a wits potion to give you one extra wit, then one Judene to give you two. And you just need a character to have 12 wit at least. Otherwise, I guess it will be more difficult. So you, I guess you need 12 wit. Now, supposedly wit isn't as useful as it was before. So, anyway. Just something. Just a little bit of gameplay and prior knowledge. Of course, most of my knowledge is really just for the first act of the game. Once you reach the second act, I will know nothing. So this is basically... This is the Tired Strides and that to Fane. Now the artifacts of the Tyrant are arguably the best armor in the game. I don't really know. I think there are better armor pieces. But this is probably the most... Fortunately, we can't wear these because they're cursed. Ugh. It's been cursed. Yes, as, like he said. So they're cursed. Cannot be used. Did we, did we wear them? Alright, let's take them off. Hammered scale pants. Let's give ourselves this. As for Sabeel. She has that. Give them to. Let's give them to the prince. Needs much better. Alright. So. Hmm. Alright. So we just need to get something for Beast here. He's just wearing leather slacks, pants. He needs better armor for who he is or what he is. He's, he's our tank. Alright, excuse me, I, I should actually take back the leather pants from him and give him these pants. Yeah, oh well. Leather pants. Hammered scale pants. Alright. Pain is... Oh. Ugh, that looks wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't wear these yet, so yeah, we'll wear those. Alright, we'll just buy some better pants for ourselves, or get something better eventually. So what's this? Here lies Withermore, the cold-hearted. So obviously, it's going to be involve something with cold. Now if we move here, we will slip and fall, and it will take us a time to get up, which is, I think, one of the flaws of this game. I don't like the way that they make uh, movement a bit too of a chore. I mean, when you move through oil, you are slowed down, and these things, yes, they slow you down. It's fairly irritating. I mean, all it really does is just slow the game down. I think it could probably be removed either by mods or by future updates. It's unnecessary, I think. I mean, something like that should remain as a slowing down movement. Should be used only for combat, I think. But for just simple movement around the world, it just makes for annoying the player but that's just my opinion I guess so we are done here we have with them all soldier we well we broke it broke every jar actually so I'm assuming that with them all is now free 
let's check it out ourselves. Alright. Uh, we are here. Hmm. I don't think it's safe for us to approach the source hounds anymore. Despite what we felt before. Alright. We'll come back here shortly. Let's go confirm that the Withermore has indeed been freed. And our efforts have not been... Oh, here. Yeah. Hate that oil. Ah, come on. Prince, please clean up that oil. Yes, uh, we have to check out with them more. If he's still around, in which case we failed somehow or something went wrong. But I expect we'll probably find him dead. In which case we succeeded, which is a bit odd if you think about it. Alright, where is he? Right, here it is. And he's fallen. And he will not be getting up. And he left us his belt. Nice. It's actually a pretty good belt. Do I have a use for it? Yes, I do. Let's... I could use another summoning spell. I mean, just memorizing rain isn't really that important. First aid, not really that important. We have restoration. Just having two healing spells is, is useful sometimes, but... Well, for now, let's... Uh, Are you alright, Odie? Wither? Wake up! Please! I'm sorry, my dear. But think about it this way. He's gone to a better place. And his long imprisonment and torment is now over. That's thanks to you. I know it's sad now, but... Bet you you'll realize that you did something good. Right, let's go. This will probably scar him for life, or her, I think. I'm not really sure. Is that the little girl or the little boy? Yeah, 